Aquarius, thank you for allowing me to be a clear and open channel for your divine guidance today. Um, today is going to be a general weekly reading. It's Monday when we're going to post this video. It's air sign Mondays. And so we are starting off with the daddy of air, my Aquarius. Sun and Moon viewers. We always read for the Sun and Moon viewers. Let's go ahead and get into your reading, my Aqua Sun and Moon viewers. Thank you. Thank you so very much. And my spirit guides, I invite you to enjoy this journey within Tarot with me. Let us help my Aquarius Collective see, hear, know, and feel what they need at this time. My Aquarius Collective, Sun and Moon viewers. All right, Aquarius, Aquarius. Let's go ahead and cut your deck, Aquarius, Aquarius. Sun and Moon viewers. So the bottom of the deck is going to be your overall energy for this reading. And it says that we are in the Eight of Wands. Now this is a darker Eight of Wands, right? Eight of Wands, we all know, represents being divinely guided. Now this one, I see this person walking from the light into the dark. So I feel like this person understands that in order to come to some sort of enlightenment, they are going to need to go through darker times. You see the lightning striking. In order to get that burst of enlightenment, this person is willing to take the staff along their independent journey to enlightenment. Underneath that, they could be dealing with a Taurus or this could represent them as the King of Pentacles. If you're the male watching, what this says is that to me, you're letting go of the financial security that you have in one place and allowing the divine to lead you in another place where you'll be just as abundant, but you'll feel more as if you're in your own body instead of carrying a persona around those around you, okay? So the male who's watching, the male Aquarius feels like he's carrying a false persona because he's built a, he's built a security somewhere he doesn't feel very in alignment with himself, okay? So I see him coming into this um, awareness in very dark times, or if you are the female, then you are dealing with a, a male, maybe Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, who may be going along this journey, or this could represent um, the male within yourself that says, you know what, I'm grounded, I'm stable, I'm abundant, but I don't feel like I'm in the right place. I don't feel like I'm in the right place with it. This could be in business. It could very well be in love and romance but more so business partnership. This is a partnership that is based off of security, based off of foundation, okay? All right, so now we're going to move on to your environment. Your environment is going to talk about the six of wands in the reverse. So again, I feel like a, a person is really coming to some sort of awareness that where they are is a false victory. Um, it may have served its purpose, but it is no longer um, where your passion lies, Aquarius. It may have served its, its purpose for you in the past, may have been upright, right? Because certainly wouldn't have started that way, but it may have been upright. And then once you were able to obtain it, you quickly found that this was a false victory. Okay, so this and everyone else around you can kind of see that you feel this way, right? Maybe not putting a direct point on what exactly you find to be false, but knowing that something about you doesn't quite feel um, very, very sure enough to express to the world. And I feel like that uncertainty is what other people are picking up on. In your heart, you are the queen of pentacles. So I feel like you, if you're the female watching, feel like you're very grounded, you're very stable, you're very nurturing. You know that you're abundant. You know that the things that you invest in, 
you are able to see come into fruition. You see those things, um, everything that you put your eye on, everything that you set your focus to build is just beautiful. Everyone admires it. Everyone loves it. Everyone admires the way you build, okay, and build with others. So this is what you look like, Aquarius females, males. If you are dealing with a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, that's what you like about this female. You like that she is very grounded. She's very sure. She's very, she is like a tree, okay? She's like a tree. She's tall, firm. She could be tall, you know, she could be firm. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, only you know, okay? Moving on to your influence what's gaining your highest timeline some sort of commitment now see these two people the person that's at the bottom of the deck right and this woman in their heart these are a married couple but these two people are not in union in this lifetime okay so i feel like whoever we're talking to is holding on to this union within but they recognize that they're not in it in the physical realm Okay, and they're working towards getting to that higher level of commitment. They're working towards grounding union within the physical realm. Here comes the present energy. Present energy talks about the nine of wands. So needing to save energy so that you can redirect your passions. This has everything to do with what you're passionate about in your past may have not known, and so you had to sort of stand still and take the back seat. You um, have not been in the limelight. You have, uh, a lot of people may not even know what you're working on at this time because you are keeping it to yourself. I think that you're saving this energy, not knowing that you're saving this energy for days for the energy to come. When, when times when you're going to have to pull that um, energy out of you. I don't even feel like you're going to know that you have it at that time because it's laid dorm doormat for so long. It's sitting there festering within you. It's the energy of action. It's the energy of confidence. And so this person, while they're confident within themselves, they're not as confident within where they've laid their eggs, okay? Um, in your future you do have the five of wands so there are going to be some conflicts some some battles some friction going on but we all know that everyone faces battles everyone faces conflict because in order to expand you do have to kind of see yourself outside of yourself the things that you don't like and then a part of you are going to recognize that that's within you and then that kind of encourages you to either assume the position and changing or running away from it again. And that sends you into your experience, sends you into your lessons, sends you into your involvement. You get to choose, Aquarius. You get to choose. Are you going to run away when the conflict arises because you're not quite into that fire energy? I don't know if a lot of you have fire in your chart, but I personally don't. I have a rising um, Sag, but... I read for the sun and moon signs. So I would say um, this person is really unfamiliar with that action energy, that what drives the action. What drives the action is what you would go to battle for, what you would literally feel like you would stand up for this, this thing because it, it is so dear to you, so dear to your heart and your desire. So your last card, Aquarius, your last card is going to be all right, the four of pentacles, I mean, sorry, three of wheels, three of pentacles. So that talks about blocking and building, right? So you're really blocking yourself from others, but I feel like it's because you don't want others to see what you're building. I don't think you really want others to know what it is that you're building. You're putting up a wall, like a, a wall. Uh, maybe you're distracting yourself by saying, oh, look, I'm into plants these days. Look at these plants. When really you don't want people to really know what you're working on. Okay. I feel like this could have been something that you decided in Taurus season that we just came out of. Okay. This is something that you decided you're going to go within about. You're no longer going to go back and forth with other people in your environment. Other people, you're not going to look at other people for um, validation for where you are in your life, okay? You're really taking that time in your past. 
your your past energy, your past, as we're merging your timelines, right? Past, present, future, and trying to decide how do we get to the highest timeline that we have potential to? Well, you do that by redirecting, redeciding where are your passions? Because now that you can decide that the one that you're currently in is a false victory to your soul, then you're going to have to save that energy and start figuring out where where does it where do you need to put it the most and that's going to come up in your future as you become like a, a force that's unmovable to those who love you um they're going to try and get you to open up about this project that you're working on that you're not quite telling anyone about my suggestion don't you know don't open up about those things. No one has to know the journey because the journey wasn't for them. It was for you, Aquarius. It was for you, you, and only you. Everyone has their own, okay? So be that, be that grandfather of the Zodiac and teach others that the hidden knowledge, the infinite intelligence that you can download is for you and what you decide to do and how, you how do you decide to express it, okay? You have the angel of power. Aquarius, you are powerful. We are in the age of Aquarius. We are going to the golden age, the golden age where our world will change. And you are the leaders of that. You are the powerhouse. You hold the infinite intelligence with ease, with stillness. Infinite power, heal me in my real beginning this. I am strong, happy, and peaceful. Okay? So at this time, you're asking your spirit guides, you're asking the universe to heal you. And in healing you, they want, you're going to heal others because you're happy, you're strong, and you're peaceful. Our soul's power is revealed to the personality as a clear purpose and the capacity to decide for the good of everyone involved in the situation. That's you, Aquarius. You have the capacity to decide what's good for everyone in, in, in any given situation. You represent judgment. You represent justice. If you had to have an occupation, you'd be upholding the system because you decide what is right and wrong. However, we're going out of that. In Aquarius, we've held the infinite intelligence long enough to realize that we are no longer deciding what's right and wrong, but just allowing ourselves to be the energy that reveals the block within conflict, okay? We're literally holding the energy that illuminates any block in a, in a conflict amongst people. And we're going to say both ends are right this time. Instead of saying one is right and one is wrong. We're going to step out of duality. We're going to train the world how to think with one. Oneness in, in, in mind. Because choosing a side, no one really wins. But picking both sides, we all win as a collective. And then we expand. Okay? And so soul's power is never over someone of something. Soul power is never over someone or something. It is a power shared with all involved. Community. That's you, Aquarius. All involved. That means a sharing of spiritual blessings that emerge when we tune in to the divine purpose of ourselves. All right, Aquarius. I look forward to seeing what this energy does for you this week and checking back in with you next week. Thank you for allowing me to be a clear and open channel for your divine guidance.